Good day, Grade 6. Good day, mga ka-Maestro Matuto. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Maestro Matuto. But before I proceed to our lesson, please like, share, subscribe to our channel for more mathematics video. Mathematics 6, Quarter 3, Week 4. Solving word problems involving algebraic expressions and equations. Let's try. 8 multiplied to the sum of 13 and 6. So how do you write it? Yes, correct. 13 plus 6 times 8. The quotient of a number and 52 is 7. Very good. And divided by 52 is equals to 7. 30 is equal to twice a number is added to 7. The result is 92. Correct. 7 plus 4x is equals to 92. In this lesson, you will learn how to solve routine and non-routine problems involving different types of algebraic expressions and equations. These skills will enable you to develop your abilities in problem solving which you can apply in a real-life situation. The knowledge that you acquired in mathematics is very important to help you develop your critical and analytical thinking skills. Among the many areas in mathematics, 6. Algebra is one of the most useful especially in solving word problems. In solving word problems, always remember to follow these steps. 1. Understand. Step 2. Plan. Third, Solve and last check to ensure that you can successfully arrive at the correct answer. So let's try to apply these steps through these examples. Example number one. Shane saved 300 pesos this month from her allowance. This amount is 50 pesos more than twice as much as she saved last month. How much does Shane keep for her saving in the previous month? Understand what is asked. The amount of money that Shane saved last month. What are the given facts? Shane saved 300 pesos this month. 50 pesos more than twice as much as the she saved last month. Step 2. Plan. Select your own strategy in creating a mathematical sentence. Use representations if necessary. Example, x. We're looking for x. Let x be the amount of money Shane saved last month. 2x plus 50 equals 300. Next, solve. Show your computation. 2x plus 50 equals 300. 2x is equals to 300 minus 50. So we're going to translate 2x plus 50 is equals to 300 as 2. 2x is equals to 300 minus 50. Next. We have 2x is equals to 250. We're going to divide uh, both by 2. So 200 divided by 2, the answer is 150. So we're going to cancel 2. And x is equals to 125. So uh, uh, Shane saved 125 last month. Check your answer. To check your answer, you may go back to the original equation and replace x 
with 125 as shown. 2x plus 50 is equals to 300. We're going to replace uh, x to 125. So 125 times 2 is 250 plus 50. The answer is 300 is equals to 300. In example number 2, the sum of three consecutive odd numbers is 195. So, what are the numbers? Now, let us understand what is us. The three consecutive odd numbers. What are the given facts? Sum of the three numbers is 195. The three numbers are consecutive odd numbers. Plan. Select your own strategy in creating a mathematical sentence. Use representation if necessary. Let x is equals to the first odd number. In this situation, x plus 2 is equals to second odd number and x plus 4 is equals to the third odd number. Equation is x plus times x plus 2 plus times x plus 4 is equals to 195. Next is solve. Show your computation. So x plus times x plus 2 plus times x plus 4, the answer is 195. Combine similar terms. So the similar terms is x. x plus x plus x plus 2 plus 4 is equals to 195. Apply subtraction property of equality. 3x plus 6 is equals to 195. Subtract 6 on both sides of the equation. So this will be 195 minus 6 is 189. Next, we're going to divide both sides by 3. So cancel 3x over 3. We're going to cancel the 3. The remaining is x is equals to 189 divided by 3. So, 189 divided by 3, the answer is 63. X is equals to 63. Therefore, the first odd number is 63. Second odd number is equals to X plus 2. The 63 plus 2 is equals to 65. Therefore, the second odd number is 65. Third odd number is equals to x plus 4. Thus, 63 plus 4 is equals to 67. Therefore, the third odd number is 67. Final answer, the numbers are 63, 65, and 67. Check. To check your answer, you may go back to the original equation and replace x with 63 as shown. In this case, x plus times x plus 2 plus times x plus 4 is equals to 195. We're going to replace. So 63 plus 63 plus 2 plus 63 plus 4 is equals to 195. So, 63 plus 63 plus 2 is 65 plus 63 plus 4 is 67. So, 63 plus 65 plus 67 is 195 is equals to 195. In solving word problems, it is very important to first understand the problem and then follow the succeeding steps stated in the earlier part of this lesson. 
By completely understanding the problem, you will be able to represent quantities in real-life situations using algebra expressions and equations, formulate the correct mathematical sentence, and guarantee the accur accuracy of your answers. To help you achieve this, below are some additional examples. Example number three. Translate into an algebraic equation. The sum of a number and a 7 is 18. Once again, the sum of a number and 7 is 18. So, let x be the number. Therefore, we have the sum of a number and 7 is 18. How are we going to write x plus 7? is 4 equal 18, 18 of course. So how are we going to write? It is x plus 7 equals 18. In example number 4, Mr. and Mrs. Mendoza owns a coffee shop. They had 142. Three customers today, 24 fewer than yesterday. Write an algebra equation for the number of customers they had yesterday. Let A be the number of customers they had yesterday. Let A be the number of customers they had yesterday. 24 fewer than the number of customers yesterday is and 143. So, in this case, A minus 24 is for equal and 143. A minus 24 is equals to 143. Example number five. When Mang Isko was asked about his age, he replied, I am six years old than twice the age of my youngest son. Write an algebra equation for the age of his youngest son if Mang Isko is 66 years old. Let Y be the age of Mang Isko's youngest son. Let y be the age of Mang Isko's youngest son, six years older than twice the age of my youngest son, is 66. 2y plus 6 is his equals and 66. It is 2y plus 6 is equals to 66. Have you ever tried to measure your height and your friend who is taller than you? Math challenge! Solve each of the problem. Markian is 14 centimeters taller than Sam. If the sum of their height is 249 centimeters, find the height of each boy. This is Master Matu to Lipsia Top. Keep on studying and your life will be happy. See you next week guys.